and I haven't done an unboxing video for some time now, so I thought I'd do one now. Finally, the 20 pen case in the dyed leather was available, so thank you, Eunice. And I went. Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft, and I haven't done an unboxing video for some time now, so I thought I'd do one. Now, I actually recorded this yesterday, so all that unwrapping that you saw was from yesterday, but today the light is so much better where I am, so I thought I would re record so you could really enjoy the look of the leather from Galen Leather. Now, I bought a few Galen items because I wanted to change one of my 20 pen cases into undyed leather because I love undyed leather. Look at that. So it comes actually much paler than this when it arrives and you'll see it in a little bit when I unbox what I got. Um, and I got a 20 pen case for my collection. I have a green one, but I wanted to go for an undyed um, um, case. And while I was doing that, I thought I'd get myself a Caveco case from Galen as well because I needed space in my pen drawer and my Cavecos alone already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the slots. And I thought maybe I should just put them in a case um, so that I have more space for the other pens. So I went to Galen uh, Leather website and I chatted with Eunice, especially about the 20 pen case. And finally, the 20 pen case in the dyed leather was available. So thank you, Eunice. And I went ahead and I got myself a Caveco case as well. So when the package arrived and you saw me struggling with unpacking it, when it arrived, it came, hold up, let me get it for you, in this way. Okay, let's just set things up a little bit. Okay, um, so it came like this. Um, Galen Leather usually gives out a zippered bag. And in this zippered bag, I feel that this is one of like really best things about getting a package from them, apart from, of course, the quality items. So um, when they give you this bag, it actually holds a lot of their little freebies and wonderful pieces. They usually give uh, sleeves like this as well. Not always, but they usually do. And so I got one of these. I think this is, I don't know, crazy leather or something. I think it is. I could be wrong. So thank you very much for this. And then finally, I got an evil eye charm from them. Okay, since it's my first time to get one, I'm gonna go ahead and read it out to you. So with each Galen Leather Co. product, we include a Nazar, famous in Turkish culture. A Nazar is an eye-shaped amulet believed to protect against the evil eye. That's how it looks. When someone eyes your good fortune with je jealousy and gluttony, bad luck in some form is bound to befall you. We send you the Nazar as a talisman to ward against this. Typically made of glass featuring concentric circles and shades of blue. Yep. Nazars are handmade in the small village of Nazar near to Izmir, Turkey. As little has changed in how these pieces have been made for thousands of years, you could say that you hold a bit of our country's history in your hand. Wherever you keep it, in your home, with your Galen items, if you wear it or carry it with you, we hope it will bring you good fortune and peace. Thank you. Oh, and then on the other side, it has their story. And it talks about the brother and sister who started off this Galen leather um, venture. It's deliciousness, so to speak. And as with every product I have received, it comes with a letter talking about their history. <laughs> and it talks a lot about their personal journey through this, um, through creating these pieces.
and on the other side it also says hello there and it talks about how each uh, piece is handcrafted and that it is of course unique they are definitely very uh, communicative uh, Yunus even as I know he was going through his um, pen festivals and pen shows he was still in contact with me whenever I asked about the 20 pen leather case so thank you very much I appreciate that Yunus then they will send a little bit of tea with you and I think this is a, a refreshing towel as well and they give you a little discount code and they also give a postcard and it's usually a little scene from Turkey <sighs> oh and they write these pieces why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open roomy ah very thought-provoking and this time I got myself some stickers this is my first time to get a sticker freebie from them and of course, when I unpacked it yesterday, I already checked it. Uh, look at the cat. I think that's one of my favorites. And this little thing right here. Actually, a lot of them are very nice. All right. And finally, we have what I got. Now, as I mentioned, I got uh, two cases. One is the Caveco case. It's a 14-piece Caveco case. And the other one is a 20-pen case for my longer pen so let's go ahead and okay this is okay let's go ahead and open up the first one this is the one for the Cavecos ta-da and there it is the undyed leather okay just so you see undyed leather after a few months of use would look like this and when it comes in it's paler so it becomes a bit more brown the more you use it the one that i really really use every day and i go out and about with it is this one so you see the difference in the color and one that i have conditioned with the galen leather conditioner looks like this so there's quite a bit of a difference already this also has been with me for some time now all right, so let's put these aside and this I'll fill it up with my Cavecos in a little while, but for now, I'm just going to put it on one side. Okay, and um, I have to say that the boxes that they send uh, their products in are quite hardy. I put art materials in it. I put nibs. I put um, other journals in it. So it's very, very useful. I also, apart from the pen cases, decided to get a Cosmo Air notebook. Now I have the everyday notebook. Let me see if I can get it for you. Okay, it's somewhere here. Okay. So I have this and I thought I would uh, like to try the Cosmo Air. And so if you open it up, one of the pretty things about this is that it has a magnetic sort of lock to it but the red one is a little bit softer i suppose because of its size than the black one i think the black paper is a bit stiffer but it could also be because of its size and there is the notebook inside this is the one with the cosmo air paper and i haven't really tried it yet so in case you have not received a Galen leather notebook yet it will come with the notebook it's usually plain and they will send some line guides with it so you will have your line guides there's one in grid five millimeter and on the other side it's 10 millimeters and there is one that is just lined um, let's see one is 10 millimeters uh, has 10 millimeter gaps the other one the other side has seven millimeter gaps and it has a leather piece that can be a pencil board or it can be a blotter. I've used them for both. Okay, and let's just go ahead and have a look at the paper. Oh, a very nice textured cover. It's the same with the Black Everyday book. 
Okay, let's just open it up. In case you have one of these notebooks and you just want to compare it. So I got the A5 for this one. Sorry, the A6 and I think this is the A5. Then when you open it up, those are how the pages look. Um, I'm not sure if the light is catching it. Um, it's basically almost the same color, although I have to say this is just a tiny bit creamier um, in my eyes at least. Same very, very nice supple, sort of very bendable cover to them. Okay, so this, these are the notebooks I have from Galen and the red one is the Cosmo Air. And finally, let's go have a look at the piece that I waited for so long for. And this is the 20 pen case from Galen. Let's just have a look through this. And after we have a look through this, we are going to go and fill in our Caveco case. So this is supposed to hold 20 pens. Let's just unzip that a bit. So it's easier for us to slide this off. I try not to ruin this because I don't know, I'm just like that. Okay, and when you unzip it, by the way, it's a very nice thick sort of zipper. And oh yeah, another by the way, if it has cuffs like this, I mean it's leather, it will scratch as long as it's not like black and it's like it rubbed hard against something, but if it's just like that, that's very natural and normal. Okay, so when you open it up, this is how it looks. It should hold 20 pens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it is like garter. Is that what you call that? And I have to say that it can hold quite thick pens. This is my Kasama pen. And it's quite good to have it in it. Okay, and it has this flap to sort of protect the pens against rubbing uh, each other and the scratches those make and on the back side you have the Galen leather uh, logo again cuff marks like this normal as long as it doesn't have any black uh, rubs against it I suppose it's totally fine okay so this is what I waited for and I'm very happy that it is now here but let's go and fill in my Caveco case. So the Caveco case, okay, let's just get that. It's quite small. If you have a five pen case, this is the five pen case from Caveco also. Um, holds five pens on one side and a notebook on the other side. If you have the five pen case, it is roughly the same um, dimensions. Not exactly, but roughly the same dimensions, I would think. Yep, as a five pen case. Okay, let's go ahead and take off the band. So one little trick I discovered is that you just kind of push the zipper bits in. If you're the kind who likes to like slide these bands off instead of like tearing them off. Some people like tearing them off. I like to like just slide them off if I can. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. Ah, much better now. Okay, so there was just some initial friction. And it's supposed to hold 14 Cavecos. So let's just open it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the protective flap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, just right. So let's get our Cavecos. Had it underneath all of this. Move it aside and hope that the assistant cats don't get to them. And let's go and put these in. All right, so we have our vibrant violet. Okay, and then we have our, I think this is ruby red. Okay, let's just make sure that, okay, I'm a little bit. Um, okay, this is Iguana Blue, control freak like that. I want all the things like all the logos right uh, and up, even if you can't actually see it. 
I have the Caveco Bronze. Let's put that in. And then this is the Pearl. Iridescent Pearl. I like this, although it can be tricky to use because the ink sometimes stains through. The Macchiato. Okay, well, very nice. And of course, the Mellow Blue. This is one of my first Cavecos, if not, in fact, my first one. All right, looking nice. Ta-da, look at all the colors. Then I have the Sage Green. Okay, and finally, we have the Olive Green. There you go. And just like that, I have a drawer I can fill in with pens again. Oh, if you haven't seen the video where I share all the pen cases I have, I'll put a link up there for you just so you see the drawers, etc. So I'm adding this to the collection. Oh, so nice. Ta, so pretty. I like it a lot. Very nice. Okay, and then I get to zip it up and then I can put it away. It feels very compact. Feels like a very safe space for my uh, Galen uh, for my Caveco, so Galen leather is really fantastic that way. Okay, so this is my one, two, three, four, I have a pen sleeve, two, five, and of course the 20 pen case, six. Okay, in case Okay, I'm sure this is it for my undyed. I'm not so sure if I have any more stashed away. Sometimes I do and I don't realize until much later. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. Perhaps in a few of my next videos, I'll talk a little bit about how I use all these cases. You know what, maybe I'll talk about it now in case you're wondering why I have so many Galen uh, leather cases. First off, the sleeve, which is actually a gift for me, sent by Eunice. Um, this is where I put my journaling pen, um, and it is in a single case because I put it in my journaling uh, bag, and so I don't want that scratch too much. Then I have the Duo Slim. The Duo Slim is a case that I bring with me whenever I just want to bring two pens around. Right now my Bohems are in the Duo Slim and so it's really a grab and go for me. I have my slip and zip. This can carry four pens and usually I have these ready for journaling as well and uh, often my vintage pens are housed here or those with like interesting nibs. I have a um, kanji nib in, my scribe nib, a vintage flex, and this is my, okay, feud. Yeah, it's the feud nib. So when I journal, sometimes I like to play with interesting nibs. So it's all housed here, easy reach in my stationary area. My five pen case is what I bring with me to work. So it usually has an array of pens here. It's not very color coordinated right now because I'm trying to also use up my inks. I tried to color coordinate it as you would have noticed. And then of course now I have my Caveco case where I will house my Cavecos. I think, I hope I will cap it at 14 and just um, maybe have to let go of some Cavecos once I reach the 14. Limit, I know I've said that to myself before, limit it with a pen case. Mm, not been very successful with that, but I will try. And finally, this one, this is actually more for travel. So whenever I travel and I wanna bring a lot of pens with me, this is usually where I put them. I say usually, cause like I said, I have the forest green. I'll put a picture maybe there for you, just for you to see how I usually have them set up. And um, I hope to bring that set up to this undyed case because I like the undyed colors. I mean the undyed color quite a bit. Okay, so a little bit of unboxing, a little bit of a walkthrough as to how I use all my Galen leather products. And I hope that this has been helpful for you. This is Kai from Kikai Craft, wherever you are. I hope you have a great day or a restful evening. Bye everyone.